currently in New York City. My interview is on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, because today's Tuesday. I got here yesterday, and I didn't film anything where I was talking to you guys, but I did film me like going around the city for a little bit. Um, I was hanging out with someone, and yeah, it was just, it was a really fun time. So now I'm heading back into the city to go to the Strand bookstore and I'm gonna go get some Korean food because it's like my all-time favorite and I don't I can't find it where I live upstate so that's what I'm doing today I will film a little bit more of like especially in the Strand and around the city and stuff but I probably won't be talking because talking in public isn't fun like I keep looking around to make sure there's nobody like around you know when I'm doing this but hopefully I can catch this train because um, I got out of the house a little bit late but hopefully I can catch it also it's a beautiful day today um, really sunny there's a nice breeze it's perfect weather for an adventure in the city <laughs> So now it is currently Wednesday. My interview was supposed to be today at nine this morning. It's now, you know, maybe 11.30ish or whatever. So I get to the place that I'm supposed to have the interview. Get to the place, I walk into their main office. I'm like, hello, I have an interview today, blah, blah, blah. And then a woman in the corner kind of speaks up and she's like, Hi, what was your name? We don't see anything about an interview scheduled today. And I'm like, okay, my name is Cassidy. Um, and she's like, do you have the email for the confirmation? And I said, yep. So I showed the email and she's like, yo, that's us. And then she's like, she's, she's like, let me figure something out. Let's see what this is about. And then I get a call from the woman that I had like confirmed the interview with. And she said that there was like this scheduling conflict with, I don't know, I guess some sort of test or something was going on. So they didn't have anybody avail available to 
interview me and give me a tour and all that kind of stuff until like 12 30 in the afternoon so and then they couldn't do that because I would have to give a lesson plan but then the timing would be wrong and all that kind of stuff so we had to reschedule the interview and I mean at least the interview is gonna happen it's supposed to be next Tuesday so like this coming Tuesday on the 28th um, I'm not sure when this video is going up but the 28th I'm just a little mad because I like took time to come down to the city and set up this interview and like they're they're lucky that I didn't have to pay for a hotel I'm I got really lucky staying with a friend um, but if I had to pay for a hotel that would have been a waste of freaking money they better freaking hire me, I swear to God. Like, one of my parents has to drive me all the way back down here on Tuesday for a three o'clock interview. Um, and now the whole lesson plan that I had to do um, is out the window because they're already gonna have learned that by next week. So I have to do a whole other interview or I have to do a whole other lesson plan. And so that means I have to memorize an entirely new lesson plan. I'm just a little peeved about it. I'm going to show you the books that I picked up yesterday when I went to the Strand. I think you saw them briefly. I'm gonna sit on the floor here. I think you saw them very briefly, um, but let's just go through them real quick. So, Once Upon a Burning Throne, not once, just Upon a Burning Throne by Ashok K. Banker. This is the first book in the Burnt Empire saga. But yeah, the cover's what drew me to it. It is a high fantasy novel. Um, I don't really know what it's about. I think there's like demigods and there's demons that walk among the mortals and I think there's kind of like a battle or something between two princes who are in line for the throne. Um, and they have to go through tasks and stuff, but then I think there's a third per there's a third character who also is in line for the throne, and it's a young woman, and she was ignored for it. So then her dad, which I think is a demon, um, demon lord, um, is really pissed off about it. So I think there's gonna be a huge war over the throne. So it just sounds really interesting, but also the cover is just like absolutely gorgeous. So that was the first one that I picked up. And then I also have Tomb of the Unknown Racist by Blanche McCrary Boyd. Um, this one, actually, when I went to, on Monday, I went and hung out with the person I was staying with. And we went to a bookstore and he actually picked this book up at the bookstore and then asked me if I wanted to read it with him so we can have like a little book club going on. So I said, sure. So I found this used copy at the Strand. Um, yeah, and I don't know anything about this one. I can't even tell you all I know is it. I think it's fiction. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, not my usual read, like I don't read that kind of thing, but yeah, anyway. The next one I picked up is a young adult fantasy novel, and it is We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. Okay, I looked up how to pronounce her name, and I, I can't remember how to do it. I feel so bad. Anyway, I've heard such great things about this book, and it was one of the choices that I had in my previous vlog for a book to buy at Barnes & Noble, and I finished that book, the other one that I bought, because it won but here's this one. Um, also, I don't know what's going on when people say that apparently the gold emblem on the front, like apparently that's rare or something, but this one has gold, I guess. Um, I don't know, I haven't seen the other, what, what it's actually supposed to look like, so I have no idea. But all I know is that this one is a young adult fantasy and I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I picked that one up. That one was a full new copy. I spent a lot of money. <laughs> um, but yeah, then I got another one of the options for Barnes & Noble <laughs> when I went. Um, and that didn't win, but I found this one at the Strand. Uh, Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. 
and this one uh, is a full price copy but I wanted to pick it up because as you can see from that sticker it is signed let me see Woo, it's beautiful then the final book I picked up so the first four were my books this final one my sister collects copies of Wuthering Heights by Emily Morante and I picked up this edition for her it's just a gorgeous like flowery moon cover going on that is just amazing and it was only eight bucks so I grabbed it for her hey guys so before I head to work I also just got out of the shower my hair's still wet and I just did my makeup but anyway before I go to work I just wanted to end my short little kind of three-day vlog that I did of when I went to New York City I only spent three days in the city and left on that third day and I just didn't get a chance to end the vlog and it is now I left on a Wednesday it's now Sunday so I just wanted to end the, that vlog so that I have all the footage so that I can post it when I want <laughs> um yeah so I just wanted to end that vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it wasn't very long it might have been a little chaotic I probably don't even talk a lot in it but I wanted to end it anyway yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!